Hello, hello, hello. It's Kathy Bedell at MyStampingSpot.com. I'm here today with Thankful Thursday. I am not going to do a 3D object as I typically do. I am, however, going to do a note card. Have you seen these? Let's talk about these. These are in the new catalog. They're on page 137. They come white and vanilla. They're called note cards and envelopes, and you get 20 of them for $7. That's a lot of thank yous. And they're a good size. They're not too small. Let me show you. So, these are the envelopes, obviously. And here's the note card. It's thick white. It's very heavy. It's not chintzy. These would be great for um, showers, wedding and thank yous. Um, really anything. They're fabulous. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to use my aqua painters, my water painters. They are here on page 129. You get three, and there's three different brush thicknesses. And um, they are only $12. And I will tell you that I would normally use the thickest brush for what we're going to do today, but sadly I misplaced it. So we're going to use the middle size brush today. As you can see, it has water in it. Can you see that? It has water in there moving around. You just simply unscrew the top when you want to add water. Well, I have mine so tight, of course, I can't get it off right now. Hey, Adrian, how are you today? How's the weather there? We are bright and sunny here. Spring has come. Well, you literally just unscrew this top that I can't seem to get off right now. I must have had my husband tighten it or something. <laughs> All right. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to take an ink, uh, ink color ink pad. I'm going to use Tahitian Tide because I love it. We're going to squeeze it. This is called burping the pad. And what we've done is see how we put some ink on here? We want to do that because we don't want to get ink, um, sorry, water on our regular ink pad. This is great. It's like a pen. The cap goes on the back. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to squeeze this a little bit just to bring down a little ink. And watch what I'm going to do. This is so simple, so fast. We always try to do thankful things on Thursdays. And I don't typically do cards on Thursdays. But I thought, eh, today's the day. I need to bring more water into this. There we go. And we're just going to paint on a little color. Now mine's going to be uneven because, as you can see, I should have started on scrap. should always start on scrap. Like that. And I'm going to tell you what, that's going to drive me crazy, so we're going to tip this over and do it on the other side. The other thing you can do is you can take a drop of reinker. Just one drop. That's going to be a very strong concentration of color. I don't typically do it this way. Look how much color that is. That's a lot of color. And like I said, I normally would use the wider brush, but that's okay. We're making do with the medium size. We're all about making do over here. And we're just going to paint on as much or as little color as we want. Add a little bit more water so I can get it a little more washy looking. Like that. I'm going to take another one so you can see all the various ways that you can get these to look. I'm just folding the crease. Hey, KB. Linda, how are you? Hope you guys are well. So this is a, a wash I particularly would favor. I will use the other card. I don't know what for yet, but see how it's much softer because I added a significant amount more water to it. See the difference? This has the least amount of water. This has a medium amount of water, and this has the most amount of water. Now to clean this, you literally just squeeze a little water through it and work it back and forth until it runs clear. I'm going to have to get really creative with this piece now. So I have a lot of ink on this. I'm actually going to flip it over. And we're just going to keep working it until we don't see any color. Now, we may have... Yeah, there we go. 
Um, the bristles may stay stained, but that's okay. It's not going to affect as long as you're not seeing water when you clean it off. I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to oh, I'm not going to close up my ink pad, but I am going to do that. And I am choosing. You want something that's a little thicker and bolder. I'm choosing Char Charming Sentiments. This is from the new catalog. Um, you really, you know, something a little narrow and scripter wouldn't show up as well on here. You really want a bolder stamp set. So let's see if I can find it here. Where is it? Do you guys have this problem too? Oh, Good Luck would be kind of cute too. But this is Thankful Thursday, so I'm going to do the thankful greeting. Here it is. And I apologize, I have to reach for a block. There we go. Like so. I'm just going to pick up some ink. And we're just going to stamp it in the same color. Now, this is dry. It doesn't take very long to dry. You see, just in the amount of time we've been chatting, it dried already. There you go. What do you think? Really cute, right? All right, I'm going to show you something else. Well, you could make a whole set. I'm pulling a piece of cardstock here. All right, I have some of this paper left over. This is the ocean paper. But you clearly could do it with any paper you want. I think I kind of, I kind of like this, and it's actually just about the right size. So I don't even need to cut this. Do you want to know what size it is? I got lucky, huh? So this would be 12 across, and this would be 8 inches, 12 by 8. All I'm going to do is fold up to make a pocket, like so. And I'm going to fold in half. Well, we might want to cut this a little narrower. Let's see what happens. I'm going to get a cutter with a squirrel knife. So here's my plan. My plan is to make a little thank you gift with note cards. So I'm going to score it six inches. Now I suppose you want to know how far I fold it up. I'm going to say about two and three quarter inches. I kind of just gauged on what it would take to make a nice pocket. Now I want to leave a little room for adhesive. So I'm going to score at six inches. That's actually going to be too much. I'm going to score over here at, that's about four and a half inches. You can tell I did not plan to do this little holder today. So I scored at four and a half inches. And this piece now needs to be nine inches. So I'm going to cut this. Look, you're getting a two for today. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this, but you know, that little note card just was so quick. And I thought, why not? Okay, so now my new dimensions are nine by eight. Nine by eight with a score at two and three quarters, okay? Nine by eight with a score at two and three quarters. Now we're just gonna take some adhesive, whoops, and I'm just gonna pop it on the outside, on each side, like so. I mean, this could not be any quicker or any more simple. And we're gonna just take a bone folder and make sure we get all, Thank you for sharing, Adrian. All the edges. Okay. What we want to do here is put the envelopes on one side and the thank you notes on the other side. And then, here's what we're going to do. We are going to take, let's see, I'm looking for a ribbon that matches nicely. Ah, uh, what matches nicely? Oh, I see one. I see one. This was in the old catalog, and it's come back in the new catalog. 
This is the sheer. Of course, I don't have a pair of scissors right here. You can tell I didn't plan this, can't you? <laughs> this is the sheer pool party ribbon. And I am so grateful that they brought this back. Does anybody else have trouble getting their ribbon started? Besides me. Or am I the only one? Well, I'm going to have to sacrifice the ribbon and cut a pat piece. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are just going to measure a piece. Like this. And, whoop. There we go. Like I said, pool party. And I am going to just add some adhesive on the back. Put this ribbon on. Like this. And let's work it right around the front. And I'm just going to connect these two spots here. I don't need to go all the way. It doesn't need to be too fussy, just a little bit. So the point is, oh, let me re-adhere this so that it's on the actual adhesive. There we go. Look at, and then, this would be a nice little thank you gift. Suppose you went and visited someone at the seashore. You could make this and send this to them. Now this DSP is not available anymore. It just happened to be sitting right here. So you would need to um, you'd need to pick a DSP that was available right now. And we have so many pretty ones, so many pretty florals. And I am going to make, I'm gonna squeeze a little more water on here. And I'm gonna make a couple more note cards. We'll see how many we can fit in there. Now if you wanted to make this, um, we could do a double score line, like an eighth of an inch apart, and you could probably put more thank yous in here. I'm not going to do that for display purposes, but I'll tell you how to do it. Let's just wash a couple more pieces and see where we're at. So I don't know, probably four is a great number for a little thank you gift. This would be um, great for end of the year teacher gifts. I always used to like to do a gift card for teachers because they spend so much money out of pocket. I'd get like a Barnes and Noble or a Target gift card. Um, but then I always used to make a little box of cards for them. So wouldn't this be fabulous to go with the little gift card, something personal. And, oh, Lindy, you like the sea paper? It's gorgeous. Um, you know, check the online store. It may be available in the online store. I'm not 100% certain. I know that the rhinestones are gone, and I believe the foil paper is gone. But um, you may be able to get this particular pretty paper. Okay, we're just going to stamp the rest of these. Like this. Now you can see the other ones I did a little bit darker. On the lighter you can read the words better. You could do a different color, but I really love the monochromatic look. That's my thing these days. I don't know why, but it is. So let's see if we can get four thank yous and four envelopes in here. This is a great little gift. And you know what? I can tell right off the top that I... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put two going one way and two going the other way. And that will help with the bulk. I'm going to get three more envelopes. So think about it. For $7 plus a little ribbon and a little DSP... You could literally make, I don't know, um, five of these. Five of these little gifts for $7. Can you imagine? How great is that? Now, let's see if I have a little punch-out shape over here. Sometimes I do. Oh, how about that? There we go. Look at that. Now, I know you're going to ask me, where does this come from? 
I will post it up the top after. I will have to look. It's from the new catalog. Obviously, it's a brand new item. It has a little stitching around the inside. But look how cute. Sometimes we, we cut things or I, I'm experimenting when I'm creating classes and I cut things and then I decide not to use them. And I just kind of pile them up off to the side. And here's a great example of when it works. What do you think? Way more. Hey, Jennifer, thanks for watching. Way more than I plan to do today. And as you can see, um, using old DSP is not not uh, the best thing, but we made it work today. So give this technique a try. The aqua brushes, I think I said they were $12. The, uh, they're called water brushes now. They used to be called aqua painters. Now they're called water brushes. They come in a set of three. I would recommend using the wider one. And again, when you do it, whether you burp the pad by squeezing it like this, or, um, you know, Mary, it does look like the painted labels, but I don't believe it is. I think it's actually a new set, but I'll post it after. Uh, but like I said, add quite a bit of water to that to get it nice and juicy and really, really watercolory. Okay? All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. It's spectacular here in the Northeast right now. And um, But you know what? Really, it doesn't matter. A good day is a good day no matter what the weather. So thanks for joining me. I will see you Monday. Oh, one more thing before we go. I put a link to the top of this at the post. This is, you make two of each of these. Uh, you will get a roll of this ribbon. Now this is a one inch thick ribbon that we cut and we colored it with um, blends, not blends, Stampin' Rights. Um, so this, this ribbon is kind of more white. It's a little bit off white. It's not vanilla, but it's not bright white either. Um, you'll get that in your class. Uh, you're going to get some of this DSP in your class. You're going to get these little um, C, what are they called? The little C gems that everybody's been nuts about. And you'll also make two fun folds. Boop! And look, you'll get the confetti that comes out of it. Now you're going to make two of these. And you're going to make two of these fun folds. This is thanks to Karen. This is thanks to Kathy. I changed their ideas, but I took their fun folds. They mailed me fun folds. So this card class, you get two of each. I normally only do written directions, and you will get written directions, but I will also send a link to these two cards to make it easier to assemble them. They're not overly complicated, but sometimes you just sometimes you just need to see it to get it. So um, it's $28 porch pickup, $37 shipped to, ship to your door, you get $25 worth of new products, ribbons, this bling, DSP, all kinds of stuff. It's like getting the eight card kits for free. Everything's die cut. You'll get all the little gems. I mean, everything's ready to go. You just build the kit. All you need is a stamp set and some ink. Those are your choices. You don't have to use what I used. And um, it's a great deal. So I put a link at the top of this post. So, uh... I hope, I hope you join me. And these little confetti flowers are really fun in this card. Very, very fun. So I hope you join me in this class. It will mail May 20th. So get signed up. And um, you'll see a post next week with exactly what's going in the class. But like I said, it's like getting the eight card kits for free. It's a great deal. All right, my friends. Thank you so much. I will see you next week for Make It Monday. Thanks for joining me. Bye.